I'm here in the Cairn Gorms to chat to you about some of the local Scottish species that you may find when out and about during the big butterfly tent. To me, butterflies and moths are awesome! The whole cycle they go through when transforming from a caterpillar to the adult is amazing! In the UK, we have 57 common species of butterflies, with two migrant species that visit us each year. And in Scotland, I'm lucky enough to experience 34 of those butterflies. But this is changing. Species like the comma never used to make it as far as Scotland. But over the past few years, they have slowly been making their way further and further north. And there's now been regular sightings in the Scottish Highlands. This is thought to be happening due to the wetter winters and warmer summers we've been experiencing because of climate change. This has not only given the butterflies perfect conditions, but it's also helped improve the growth of the caterpillar's favourite food source, the common nettle. These nettles are also important for some other butterflies, like the more common peacock and small tortoiseshell butterflies, which you're likely to see in your garden at this time of year. And these chrysalis belong to the peacock butterfly, and are expected to come out within the next week. Some butterflies are specialists. This means that they need specific habitats and environmental conditions to survive. Take this, the ringlet. This ringlet can be found in areas like this, so it's a grassland specialist. And this time of year, in the Scottish Highlands, there's a mass immersion of these butterflies. Another grassland specialist is the common blue butterfly. But this butterfly also relies on ants to survive. You see, the caterpillar mimics an ant larvae, so the ants mistake it as one of their own, taking it down to the nest, where it then eats all the ants larvae, before preparing within the protection of the nest to come out the next year to start the whole cycle all over again. So you see, without habitats like nettles and grasslands, we wouldn't have many of our amazing butterflies. Butterflies are known as indicator species. This means by monitoring them, it allows us to see if their habitat or environment is changing. This is why we need you guys to record them all across the UK. And this is where you guys come in. For the next three weeks, we're asking you to head out and count all the butterflies you see. It's great fun and really easy to do. All you've got to do is go for a walk or sit in your garden for 15 minutes and count all the butterflies that you can find. You can do it as many times as you want over the three weeks. But remember, if you're doing it in your garden, leave a gap between the times doing it, just so you don't count the same butterflies. And to help you record and identify the butterflies and day flying moths that you find, there's this really handy app that you can download from Butterfly Conservation with all the information you need. As well as that, there's also a handy print out picture guide that you can use, which is just as good as the app. This guide can cover all across the UK, so make sure you choose the print out one that best suits you. Once you've finished counting, remember to upload your findings via the app or through the website at Butterfly Conservation Big Butterfly Count. So what are you waiting for? Get counting!